Hi, I'm Dr. David Sternberg. Now, you may be asking yourself, what am I going to learn here? But the question isn't what you're going to learn here. It's when you're going to learn here. Welcome to time travel science. Oh, hi. I didn't see you come in. Welcome to Time Travel Science Now. My name's Dr. David Stucklecorn. Now, right now is a very important time in your life. Congratulations. You've been selected to time travel. Now, there are a few different types of time travel. Here we're going to go over a few different rules and guidelines to help you out. Here to help us out through some of the rules is You Can't Explain Science's favorite student, Jimmy. Boo! Hey there, Dr. Slurk and Knock. Oh, it's actually Slurk and Slurk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not your first mistake, Timmy. But are you ready to explain to the folks at home how these rules work? I sure think so. All right, rule number one. Rule one, don't freak out. Jimmy has just time traveled, and time traveling can be scary and nauseating. So Jimmy is gonna throw up. It's only natural. How do you feel? Honestly, not great. Great, let's run over some more rules. Rule two, avoid contact with yourself at all times. Wait, but Doc, that's, that's me. Oh, Maria. don't worry, he's frozen. Really? Oh, huh. that is actually kind of cool. So, uh, what happens when he like unfreezes? You don't want to know. <laughs> Wait, what do, you, what do you mean by Doc, 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 I'm still, where'd you, shit. Yeah, this, this is when you told me not to look at me, huh? Cool. Sweet. So, Lenny, how have you been doing with the rules so far? Well, honestly, the rules are okay, but I'm still fuzzy on how time travel works. Ah, well, it's quite simple, Jenny. First, there's time travel, science, and quantum physics, crazy, nasty shit. And that's how it works. Quite a mouthful, huh? Yeah. But I just... I didn't understand any of that. Are you serious? We can't get a kid better than fucking- I know my lines! I'm paying him, right? I'm getting paid. I just don't fucking get it! Does he not know his lines? Where's my trailer? It's unprofessional! Well, Lenny, let's head back inside to finish going over the rules. Hey, Seven. It's actually Spin. Oh, whatever. Oh, you're such an asshole, Dr. Snug and Snoogas. Oh, I know. Now, do you know the next rule? Not a clue. Of course you don't. Rule number four. No women. In this drawing, that's the laser tube. From it, a single laser beam passes through the grating. Guided by two mirrors and the lens 
that focuses the laser beam down to one one millionth prism, it's deflected onto the device. Frequency modulated signal, time and space. Hi, I'm Dr. Albert, here to answer a couple of your questions. Our first question comes from Alice. Alice? Well, that's not happening. Derek writes, am I allowed to play the lottery if I travel back in time? Go right ahead, you degenerate. Peter from 1973 asks, I just got back from 2011. What was that all about? Well, Peter, that noise you heard, the stuff that sounds like robots having sex, Scary, isn't it? Well, that's what they call music now. And yes, the president is black, and mostly everyone's okay with it. Well, it's been fun, but we need to get going. But let's not forget the last and most important rule. Rule number seven. Rules are meant to be broken. So, safe travels, amigas. I'm Dr. Sturton Sturtenberg, and this has been Time Travel Science Now. Oh, welcome back, Peter. <laughs>